A national group of criminals known for smash and grabs and illegal shopping sprees may be striking in Northeast Ohio. Police in Macedonia are now sending out a warning after multiple break-ins and they're asking for help to ID the fast-moving crooks. Only on News 5, Bob Jones speaks with one of the victims who is urging others not to make the same mistake she did. It's just it's shaken up. I <laughs> didn't even know what to say, you know. Marie Woods' workout at the Macedonia Rec Center cut short last Friday when she received a strange message on her phone. I got a notice from my credit card saying that you've been approved for $235 at the Walmart, and I'm going... I'm here, not at Walmart. Moments later, police informed her someone smashed out one of her car windows and stole her purse. And it really gets me because I know better than to leave my purse in my car, but I was going to go shopping after I worked out. Police say these two men caught on camera at the Streetsboro Walmart racked up about $2,000 in charges on credit cards belonging to Marie and another rec center smash and grab victim. And then Tuesday night, more shattered glass. Two more purses stolen after car break-ins at the wreck. Police say this man tried to use stolen credit cards at the Macedonia Walmart, but those were declined. This is kind of known through law enforcement as felony lane gang activity. The felony lane gang is a national group of criminals creating so much trouble for law enforcement that a dedicated task force set up this Facebook page to help ID thieves. Police say this red SUV is the suspected getaway car in both Macedonia cases. On Friday, it had a stolen license plate from Bedford Heights. And then last night's incident, they were in the same Ford Explorer with a stolen license plate out of Toledo. Police say stealing license plates and then putting them on different cars is part of the M.O. of the felony lane gang. They're also known for committing several smash and grabs in a region of the country for three to five days and then getting out of town. A lot of times these groups come up out of Florida, rent cars, and they're hitting daycares, uh, rec centers. Marie, who also lost cash and her driver's license, is stunned she may be a victim of a national crime ring. I don't even know what to say. I just think that that's a lousy way to make a living if that's what you're doing. Police are now asking for help to ID the smash and grab suspects while sending out the same warning as Marie. Don't ever leave your purse in the car. In Macedonia, Bob Jones, News 5.